Welcome to Church of the Chair, where we stand Holly Gibney. I'm your host, E, and today we're heading straight for a crowd of people with a Mercedes. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> just, just no. If you're new around here, I need to give you a warning. I will be spoiling all of Stephen King's work in this series. There's no way around it. So if you haven't read all of his stuff, including the novels, novellas, short stories, collaborations, if you haven't read it all, I'd click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about the Bill Hodges trilogy by Stephen King, including Mr. Mercedes, Finders Keepers, and End of Watch. So how does the Bill Hodges trilogy tie into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let's get into that. First off, I'm going to start off with a slam dunk. Holly Gibney is in all three of these books. She's also in The Outsider and If It Bleeds and the upcoming titular named Holly. So she I've tied in The Outsider, I've tied in If It Bleeds, I can even tie these in, which we'll get to in a second, but that's, that's the slam dunk right there, that's the easiest one. But first, before we go into the rest of it, I want to share a clip from the original Theorist video that gives a shout out to one of the viewers, one of the fans of this series, John Greenleaf. Take it away. Another way that you can put it here, and I really, really like this, this theory. John Greenleaf in the comment section of one of my videos. John, uh, hopefully you're watching this. Please put it, um, say hello down there in the comments. He says, technically, everything Stephen King writes is Dark Tower related because Stephen King wrote himself into the Dark Tower. It's something I've never thought of. Even we're, we're on like episode 32 right now. I, it never even crossed my mind that you can literally tie in anything he writes just because he wrote himself into the novel. Um, he wrote himself into Song of Susanna, um, and I get the entire Dark Tower series as it is. I love that theory, and John Greenleaf, you get all the credit for it, so please say hello. Everybody thank John down there. Now, there is only one problem I see with John Greenleaf's theory, and that is you can only tie in Stephen King to the Dark Tower, not just because he wrote the book, but if he mentions something that he wrote or an adaptation of something that he wrote in that story, which we have here, because both Pennywise from the, what, 1995 version with Tim Curry, the adaptation, that adaptation is mentioned, and also the adaptation, John Carpenter's adaptation of Christine is mentioned in this book as well. So, Using John's theory, we can tie anything back into the Dark Tower easily if Stephen King references himself. And I've already done that with, uh, I believe, The Outsider, uh, or maybe it was, let's see here, uh, Fairy Tale. I've already done that several times. But just to remind you, those original videos were shot years ago. So I have been using John's theory this entire time, and I really do appreciate him uh, bringing that up because it helped a lot. It's also helping a lot with the connections to some of his short stories. Finally, we have the theme. Once again, this is used over and over again in Stephen King's universe, a traumatic event bringing on psychic powers. If you don't know, hopefully you're not still here if you haven't read this series, but Brady Hartsfield does not have psychic powers or telepathic powers or whatever he has. He does not have those in Mr. Mercedes. We see a little bit of it toward the end of the book. In the very last pages of the book, we see Brady, uh, after he's been hit with, what is it, a roll of quarters and a sock, something along that uh, line. Uh, after that happens, we see him in the hospital room move something with his mind. That, of course, comes more into play later on in the final book, End of Watch, because he has fully embraced his powers and is able to control people using a video game, I believe it was, with the fish. It's been a while since I read these. I definitely need to go back and read them. I've read them three times so far, once in audiobook and twice with the text. I also reread each one of the books as the books came out, So I, but it's been a while since they came out. One... One last thing that I will mention, uh, I, I normally don't do this. I think I've only done this one time uh, in this series. But there are no uh, comments from viewers who who had any further theories in from the original video. But I did get, I did get this, 
And I... I saw my response and I thought it was funny. No shade to the person who left the comment. I just, I, I thought it was funny and I wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> Stupid. But that's all the time I have for you today. Did I miss anything? Do you have any corrections of anything I said in this video? Or do you have theories of your own on how the Bill Hodges trilogy ties into the Stephen King universe and the Dark Tower series? Let me know down there in the comments. But until next time, I'm your host E, and today... We're heading straight for a crowd of people with a Mercedes. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> I'll hail the chair. <laughs>